All right, so I'm actually just cleaning my room, but might as well have a camera out, so maybe I'll do a walkthrough. Uh, let's ignore the stuff on the coffee table. Here first, first see is my bully book, Billy, bully, Billy bookcase. Uh, boss stacked on top, changed up the shelves for glass, and the doors for glass doors. Uh, Alright, so what's in the Billy bookcase first, you can see top shelf. Got some uh, Master Grade Gundams with my No Grade 160 XE on the left. Second shelf here, you can see I have the one quarter scale Miku. And I guess I went ahead and made this the kind of uh, a Vocaloid setup here. If I can remember which way this focuses. Right, there's one quarter Miku. Right here. Okay. And you got one seventh, you know, I think one eighth scale, one seventh scale, uh, 2012 Racing Miku, uh, one seventh Tony Luca, and a Koto uh, Gumi. Then uh, some underrides. Alright, and down on the third shelf, what's that? More Gundams, alright. And uh, the bottom first, also more Gundams, but uh, yeah, this is my 144 scale shelf here, and under it is another more 144 scales. I did move on to the 144 scale because I find it way more compact, and uh, they don't, they last way longer because they're not as heavy as the Master Grades. A lot of the Master Grades have uh, deteriorated joints over a long time because of um, Continued uh, wear, I guess. I did pose them a lot. Now they're a lot weaker. Uh, so yeah, I do enjoy the high grade uh, 144 scales a lot more. And the very bottom, I have my books. That's all the books I have. Yep. All right. Going along my wall, I do have some posters I've collected over a few anime norths. Uh, I do have a missing spot which I intend to fill, but I haven't bought anything as of yet. Alright, and moving on to my TV, uh, you know that Windex, my TV here is a Sony 46 inch TV from uh, I believe 2004, it's pretty old, it doesn't really run 1080p, but uh, I don't have the eyes to confirm 1080p or 720 anyways, uh, on top is my ABS, uh, I forgot what they called these, kind of like they were supposed to be paper craft? Type things, but uh, they went ahead and made some ABS mystery boxes, so I got a couple of those. I, I'm missing Len, but uh, I'm not too eager to go out and hunt for a Len, so I guess he's gonna be left out. <laughs> All right, and here's my speaker on the left side, Dambo, which is actually still in the box. I I got it, but I never opened it. It's, it just sits inside. All right, strike free master grade box holding up my speaker. My whole room is comprised of uh, boxes. This is my old Walmart um, dress, not dresser, like shelf container unit thing, whatever. Uh, I do have miscellaneous stuff in there. I did intend to clean it out someday, but it just my uh, hoarding nature does not allow me to throw things away, so it just stays in there. Next to that is uh, a portion of my gaming collection. There's actually more behind that. I've hidden a lot of PS3 games over the years behind it. Uh, I've left the ones I like the most in front. Is I think the ones I like the most in front. Uh, then there's also 3DS games and Vita games. Yes, I do have a Vita and I do have games for it. PS3 games. Uh, I do find it annoying that they did change the logo over the years, so uh, it doesn't match anymore. The, the, the red label here, which they uh, went ahead and changed to a black label, it's pretty annoying. And then PS4, is, well, I mean, at least the PS4 so far is consistent with the blue. Uh, that's my speaker input. My PS1. Fat PS2, PS3, and currently using PS4. 
Uh, that PS4 I actually got from Japan because uh, it was cheaper to buy it from Japan. Uh, I think I saved only like $50 compared to if I bought it here in Canada because it just... The price went up and there's also tax to think about so there's a hundred dollars difference that I paid. I would have paid if I bought it here. And if you can see, actually under my credenza there is uh, more boxes, yes. My room is full of boxes. And uh, since they're already out, I mean I can go over some of the figures I have on my coffee table. Alright, this is the box of miscellaneous uh, electronic cables and controllers here. It's my phone. Okay, starting from over here, we do have uh, some Nendoroid Petites. There's uh, Nico Yazawa, which I got from a friend. Or rather, Yazawa Nico, I got it from a friend. A nonna that I actually took from a blind box. It was actually, I think, the second blind box after uh, Miho over there. And uh, I think I just bought that one for fun, the Idol Master one, but it was good. Here is a little Magic Harp over here. Turn this aperture down. Okay. Then there's some dang and rump of blind boxes, which I did, and one free one. A Char figure, what I bought for I think a couple bucks. The an Android uh, goes in the Panzer Panzer IV, I guess. Then you have um, I can never remember her name. Yudachi, yeah, Yudachi Kai. Uh, Fat Company's answer to no, I mean type of Nendoroid, I guess. Uh, I believe it's called the Parfum. They've only released up to like four figures so far. Including Yudachi, they're releasing a Shigure Nikai. Um, they've released Aegis from Persona 3. And uh, I forget who else. It'd be nice if they released a Saber. I would get a Saber. Uh, here is my Gundam Raphael, I guess. is mixed in with a... Uh, I actually kit bashed this with a 144 high grade uh, Wing Zero kit, uh, which I was actually ex uh, inspired online because I saw um, it wasn't Raphael, but it was one of the Double O alternative universe kits, and I I really got interested in kit bashing and how like parts would fit together. This one's kind of a half-assed work here because I think I just forced it together where well, there was no real actual joints to be put together so it's not very stable. Alright. Continue on you can see a virtue that is uh, somewhat dissembled, disassembled. Uh, it did fall a couple days ago so I haven't put that back together yet and I'm gonna have a Haruhi Rebel Tech bust here which actually came with one of the games and I picked it up for a couple bucks at Anime North at uh, one of the Use goods tables. Uh, they actually had all four, but I just decided to go and get one because I didn't want four busts. Okay, and then you can see here is uh, Misaka Mikoto, Nendoroid. Uh, I intend to be changing the pose of that eventually, but uh, I haven't got around to it. And over here, which is a kit that I this is my, this is my last uh, built kit, I did build this uh, maybe in. Uh, let's see, April, probably, just after I finished school. Yeah, I bought this kit maybe over three years ago because I liked the design and the whole idea of uh, the Advance of Zeta series, how it was like a kind of a reimagining of all the Zeta Titans prototypes. I thought the design was really good. I went and got it, but I didn't build it for years until <laughs> this year, I guess. Alright, and continue on is a Lucky Star Miko New Year set, which I bought off a of whim from Mandarake because I just kind of wanted to see how it worked, how the Mandarake worked, and how, like the shipping, and just in general, uh, the process. Yeah, I bought it for like $15, so it, it was kind of a, uh, just a, I don't even know what to call it, just, I was just wasting some money to see how the process worked. Alright, and then you have, uh, Saber Lily Nendoroid, whose base is actually broken, but I can see there I have cemented it and taped it in for uh, extra security. Also, as a reminder not to touch the base because it's gonna break again. And then behind them is Akitsushima 
and uh, Oi, I believe. I did like these Nendoroids a lot. Uh, Akatsushima really um, caught my eye with the plane. The plane was just like, man, I, I do want a tiny plane. Also, I do enjoy her design. And then Oi, uh, I think what caught me first was her glasses. And then looking behind her, there's a like an aircraft carrier unit happening there. So that's pretty cool. She actually comes with a table too. I don't know where I put that. They had to put it away in storage. And uh, I think I skipped over this. But this is a... Uh, I forgot her name. Miyuki from Lucky Star.